Hello, my name is David Attenborough and I'll be telling you about sheepdogs. There are lots of sheep that need to be herded every day from one pasture to another and it's hard for the shepherd to do it all on its own. It can't control the whole flock very easily and that's where the sheepdogs come in. Early evidence of sheep domestication along with other wild animals began around 9000 BCE. Originally, modern herding dogs were meant for protecting sheep and goats from predators. Turkish cave drawings from 6300 BCE to 5500 BCE show large dogs. Before they were named herding dogs, they were known as livestock guardian dogs. Herders would travel from village to village with their flocks of sheep accompanied by their livestock guardian dogs. Guardian dog's coat would blend in with the sheep so predators can't see it. Some dogs instinctively notice if a member of the flock had wandered away from the group and would direct it back to its flock. They would also outwit predators without fighting them. Herding dogs evolved centuries after livestock guardian dogs. The peat dog was a medium spitz type dog. Around 2500 BCE, nomads took over Britain from France and Northwestern Europe, bringing with them a Mediterranean Neolithic culture. Through the centuries, the dog's natural preying instinct of chasing changed to herding domesticated farm animals in the direction the shepherd wanted. Herding breeds have dated in Iceland far back to the 13th century. By the 17th century, herding dogs were well known throughout Europe, mostly in Britain and northern France. Now, herding dogs are known all over the world. Around when shepherds were breeding dogs for herding sheep and other animals, they began showing off how well their dogs were at herding. They developed different breeds with different builds and coat types to show off to other farmers. They developed sheep herding competitions known as sheep trials. In sheep trials, you were given a large open area. In the area, there would be a small pen fit for around four sheep. Then the shepherd and their dog would enter and the sheep would be let out. Their objective would be to get the sheep into the pen as fast, flawless and efficient as possible. The shepherd would communicate with the dog and tell it what to do and where to go and the dog would herd the sheep with the shepherd's help back into the pen. There were many breeds of dog that, that did that, but almost any shepherd you would ask would say that the one particular breed stands out among the sheep dogs. Meet the Border Collie. It's a pretty smart dog. Border Collies are the most intelligent breed on the planet, without a doubt, non-negotiable, end of story. Okay, so it's a really smart dog. In fact, on nearly every ranking of doggy intelligence, the Border Collie comes out on top. It's a highly intelligent dog, highly trainable dog. The Poodle and German Shepherd usually round out the top three most intelligent breeds, but Border Collies are canine rocket scientists. Twice about these dogs as house pets, though. They are not good with novice dog owners. If you don't work with a border collie, they're going to drive you nuts and they will destroy every possession you have. <coughs> the breed is named for the border region of England and Scotland. Shepherds in this area carefully bred dogs over many generations. The result is a dog that may just be the perfect herding breed. I don't think there's any dog that excels um, better at herding than Border Collies. The Border Collie is a born athlete. Its muscular, supple body is bred for speed and stamina. Very, very hyper. A dog that loves to run, loves to herd, loves to chase animals. Shepherds were also attracted to their Border Collie's fiercely intense stare sometimes called the eye. Border Collies use this gaze to intimidate and control livestock. When they're focused on something, it is very hard to break that concentration. That great intelligence is the key to this herding dog's prowess. Border Collies were bred to complete complex tasks both with humans and independently. When you hear the term man's best friend, a border collie comes to mind. 
A fourth unique physical characteristic gives the Border Collie even more of an edge. When herding, the dog can move quickly in a crouching position. It's reminiscent of a stalking cat. This trait is due to a space between the tops of the shoulder blades. The almost locomotive movement allows the Border Collie to make subtle adjustments to manage a herd with absolute precision. I can't think of many dogs that are as driven and focused as Border Collies. Fair enough. Spin. Spin. Good. Roll over. Other way. Play dead. All the way dead, Venus. One, two, three. Go. Night. Today, Border Collie enthusiasts like Animal Planet's expert trainer, Zach George, are finding new creative outlets for this remarkable breed. Border Collies are exceptional at dog sports. Good. Good. Go. Go. Zach's high-flying Collies go for big air when chasing Frisbees. They also have a few head-turning tricks up their sleeves. Zach's Collie Venus even knows her multiplication tables. What is three times two? Whether it's herding sheep, playing frisbee, or performing amazing tricks, training is where this breed shines. But if you step up to a border collie, you better know what you're doing. Thanks, Anima Planet. Sheep dogs have helped shepherds control livestock, which is and was back then a very hard thing to do without help. These dogs really make a difference for the shepherds who have to collect these animal products with the help of the sheepdog and to the rest of us so we can have wool, eggs and other livestock products that travel in flocks. And that's why herding dogs are so important because people make a living off of animal products and herding dogs really help. Thank you for watching National Theographic herding dogs. Once again, my name is David Attenborough, and thank you.